Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to RL Craft. I think this is episode eight already, which is crazy. I've been looking up the Lesser Equipment Forge specifically because we did get a Cinder Blade. I think it was a couple of episodes back, or maybe last episode. I really don't remember. But we could definitely get a Lesser Equipment Forge. Because we have building level 12. We don't have enough for the greater or master equipment forge. But we do have enough for the lesser equipment forge. So you just get a crafting table and a wooden axe. And that makes a lesser equipment forge. And with that, you can actually make Lycanite's weapons from the mob drops you get. So we don't have any steel ingots. And for those, you need sin sin. Since Sinisterite, which is a special thing from the Nether, and we're not going in the Nether in our Elcraft, no way in hell. So, we are going to get a wooden guard, because we're not getting a steel one. So that is literally just three sticks, and that will allow us to add the slot type blade. And then we need something to allow us a slot type head, so we need a base that adds a slot type head so we can get a wooden rod so we're just gonna make the most basic weapon imaginable all right guys so we don't have magic level 12 yet which is required for the equipment infuser so we can't level up our cinder blade but what we can do is use this as a base use this as a head and use this as a blade and now we can actually get our crafted equipment and this does four attack damage and i think it also burns stuff we should definitely check it out right what to check it out on you maybe that wasn't the best idea all right so maybe we're not ready to take on something like that just yet especially with a level one cinder blade but the good thing about the equipment forge as well is if you put crafted equipment back into it, you can actually take the components off and reuse them. So you can actually take equipment apart and put them back together again. It does not reset the durability. It does not reset the durability. So you do need to make them sharper. Sorted. And then this can just go directly into that chest. And when we drop any... Just around, we know no matter what, they're going to be deposited into the chest. And then what we can do is we can hide this part of the chest. And then uh, we've got access to our chest right there. And that can be how we access our chest for the chickens. And now just this one thing missing. Chickens. Um, You remember that place we looted near base? Well, I never thought of it at the time because they're just chicken eggs, but we have a ton of chicken eggs there. But we need a Jeff to fly there, so we are going to have to breed a Jeff. Because in the last episode, Jeff got killed by a dragon that I would have defeated without fire resistance, but the game had to goddamn freeze. So I'm devastated about that. Ow. Only way down when we did that. Alright, uh, we have a load of saddles and stuff. Uh, we should also remember to restart the game when we're breeding them. Because, you know, weird glitches in this game are constant. Um, we can definitely breed them, but we can't... I did not get my words right today. We can definitely breed them, but what we can't do is tame them. So we need to get a load of rabbit feet. Luckily, in the last episode, we got looting four. So our chances to get rabbit feet has almost tripled since last time. We've gone from a 16% chance to a 22% chance, which I think is pretty cool. We did have a cobalt shield and uh, something else in the last episode. So it is kind of sad that the dragon killed us, especially due to a glitch. But we can cry about it or we can get on with it. And we just got to get on with it. One of those things that happens, guys. It's irritating. And infuriating. It makes you want to die inside. One, two, th three. Three. Uh, it's just... 
four. There we go. And then one, two, three, and so I guess I'll set like a 20 minute timer and then we can kill the bunnies and see if we get any rabbit's feet. Guys, I'm an idiot. I've been storing up all my bones that I've been collecting all season to the point where we got level 12 farming. What did we get in the last episode? Level 12 farming. We can just get a ton of bone meal. Not to mention this. Alright guys, we are about to breed the rabbits. I'm just quickly making a canteen. Because you can never be too careful. You never know when you're going to run out of water. And I don't want to die of parasites. I've missed the ability to use bone meal. It's so efficient. We don't have to worry about dandelions anymore. Alright guys, it's been about 20 minutes now. If you take a look, they're all grown. So let's get our looting four sword and try and get some rabbit's feet. Wow. Definitely got one there. Looting four for the win. Gotcha. What do we get? One. One. Two. Okay, two rabbit's feet. That is not bad. Alright, what about this one? Any? No. We got two. What about this batch? Quite a lot in this one. Definitely got one there. Okay, how many did we get? Just one or two or three, perhaps, maybe? One. Just one rabbit's foot? Alright, so we got three rabbit's feet in total. That is definitely enough to hatch a hippogriff. So I say we get one of the brown ones, because I like the, the colour of those. They look really cool. They're like brown horses with wings, and I love that. So let's breed one of those ones, and we can go ahead and explore on a new Jeff. Definitely want to do a lot of battle tower golems in this episode as well. Also, it's always nice to have three of each type of species because if one of them dies, then we can breed. I mean, we can crossbreed anyway to get the species back, but it's kind of irritating. Oh yeah, the glass. Um, one of you mentioned that if I use an opaque block like glass, they won't suffocate in the walls. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm trying it. So thanks anyway for the information, even if it doesn't work. I just want to see if it does. So we're going to go ahead, put these on Wonder, and then we're just going to go ahead and save and exit because we know what the game's like. It's clearly not going to work unless we do that. So let's go ahead and get it over and done with, and then reload the game. Right, here we go. There we go. That's what I was worried about, the flying. How are we supposed to breed them if... They're both flying. <laughs> Do we breed the grey ones first, I guess? I mean, grey, grey. Oh, we crossbred. I didn't, I mean, yeah, why the hell not? Uh, we got a grey hippogriff. So we're just going to have to hope for the best. And... Uh, crossbreed again? Two grey hippogriffs. Okay, I I was kind of hoping for I was kind of hoping for a brown one, but I, I mean I I don't care what color they look like. I just I love them. I love hippogriffs. They're so they're so amazing. So either way, I'll, I'll I guess uh, we're gonna have grey hippogriffs. Okay. Kind of didn't want to crossbreed. I kind of wanted to get two of each species to keep each type of hippogriff alive, but. I guess we got grey hippogriffs, yeah. Let's go ahead and hack one. Actually, let's put the rabbit's feet in our inventory first. Oh, you you tamed instantly. Nice one. Uh, you. And again. There we go. So we managed to tame both of them. That was really nice. That was really lucky. And we got two adorable hippogriffs. Uh, let's push you away from the walls. Because I'm not sure. I'm really not sure about the glass. I hope it works, but I, I just don't want them to die. You know what I mean? They're, they're adorable, and I don't want them to die. So why don't we sleep for the night, and then we'll choose a Jeff. I, 
I'm going to choose a grey one. I don't want to go out on a brown one if we don't have any backups. So I guess I'll sleep for the night and then we'll go out exploring. All right, guys, welcome back. We're just getting some arrows just to be on the safe side so we know we can kill stuff. I want to get mending on this bow. I don't want to lose it. So if we can get some... Oh, right, my enchantments are all over here. I forgot I organized my chest now. All right, let's get mending on this. I hope it doesn't take too much, but I think we can do it. Yeah, we got it. Wow, that really did not take that much, did it? That is uh, surprisingly amazing. Hell yeah. Now we can get this bow fixed and repaired. You know what we should do before we go out, actually? Repair it. Just to be on the safe side, you know? Because, let's face it, uh, it's going to be cheap to repair it for the first time, and we're never going to need to repair it again. We're just going to be able to use mending, and I'd hate for it to get destroyed before we've got a chance to use mending. So, you, you know, you're never, you're never too sure about those things. you got to be on the safe side just in case. Go ahead, do that, get this filtered up, and then we've got our filtered water. Oh, guys, just look at the baby Jeffs. They're so adorable. I don't want them to die. I really don't. I hate it whenever a Jeff dies. It's just sad. Uh, we haven't got a chest for him just yet, but I guess this will be our new Jeff. Hell yeah. New Jeff. All right. Um, what we did say we were going to do is go and get those eggs from the uh, structure thing up here. You know, the first thing we looted. The first major structure we looted. This is the thing I'm on about. Yeah, this is where we wanted to go. Because there was like stacks and stacks of eggs in here. And you just know we're going to get chickens if we have stacks of eggs, right? Ah, here we go. Sorted. Yeah, stacks of eggs, just like I said. That's literally what we came here for. I ain't lying either. That is legit what we came here for. Just eggs. But yeah, we need a chicken farm to get a load of feathers. Because in our Alcraft, if you have a load of chickens in the same area in our Alcraft, they will drop a ton of feathers. So an uh, automated chicken farm would be just a poor alley. Same we'll just have stacks of it. And the fact that they're going to live in poppers going to a chest, even better. Definitely have to, like, add, like, a structure here to keep them safe. Because someone's going to kill them otherwise. Come on, don't do this. I want at least two chickens. Uh, I think we might have killed one. Okay, we sorted. We saw it. We got two chickens. All right. Yeah. We can breed these two. We can get the population up. We got this. Thank you so much. You both are going to start an entire chicken farm. All right, guys. I don't know if the ravaging axe is worth getting. My guess is it would destroy the block it chops. But then would the rest of the tree be okay? Would we... Would we sacrifice one piece of wood for, like, an entire tree? Let's go ahead and check it out. Ravaging axe. Alright, guys. Let's go check this axe out, then. I'm hoping this axe is insanely good. Because if wood is no longer, you know, a minor inconvenience, then that would just be amazing. So, it should chop insanely fast. I don't know how fast... Doesn't drop any items. When it says it destroys drops, I think it really means it destroys drops. Yeah. So it destroys the uh, the wood. So this axe is like the worst axe we could get. Okay, so the ravaging tools aren't that great. I mean, if sure, if you want to destroy an entire forest just to have the forest gone great but we're not going to get any wood if we do so the ravaging axe is not great all right guys the chicken enclosure is done they're all safe now and uh we i don't know how we're gonna breed them maybe we'll dig like these out eventually and breed them so there's that i mean eventually we'll just get a load of eggs right and then we can just go ahead and use that way let's get a load of eggs from in here 
and then uh, we'll just throw them into there somehow <laughs> and then get a load of chickens that way. I think that would be a great way of getting feathers, so hell yeah. So let's go out exploring, getting some loot from Battle Towers. I don't know what's going on with my doors there. And yeah, uh, I kind of want to take on a dragon this episode. Maybe get revenge on that dragon that killed us. That's something I'm very interested in. Also, maybe finding a tier 5 dragon and getting an egg. Maybe. Also, taking down some more battle tower golems. Definitely want to do that. I also want to get a stone of the sea this episode. There's a lot of things I want to do this episode. So, let's go ahead and start. Um, You see that death icon there? That is from when the dragon killed us. I couldn't do it, guys. I just couldn't let him win. Okay, I just couldn't let him live. I want the dragon dead. Plus, if we get enough experience from killing him, we get level 16 defense and we can wear diamond armor. And there he is, just over there. I uh, don't think that's him, actually. I want him dead. I don't want a dragon dead. I want him dead. We found him, guys. The dragon that killed us. You are going to die for what you've done. Did we really get a direct hit there? Stop it! Guys, if he harms Jeff anymore... God, that was close. If Jeff dies, we die. Okay, guys, I'm out. I'm leaving. Just get good at the game. <laughs> Simple solution there. So let's regroup. Think about this. And instead of just going in angrily, have a clear head. Really think this through. Without the shaders, I'll be able to see the red icon... I'll be able to see his body turn red when I hit him. Um, but with the shaders, it makes our craft more realistic. And, oh, I didn't know we were that close to killing him. Well, I'm definitely going to have my bow equipped while I go down. Because then the experience will heal it. And my bow should heal back to full strength. What the hell? Oh, the experience fell a different direction. It's fine. Yeah. So we've got 11 there. We should still have a lot more experience. I see an orb there. 13. I was kind of hoping for more because I want to get diamond armor this episode because we are really falling behind in that department. We've just kind of been cheesing stuff and doing stuff in an unintended way. And as a result of that, we kind of got really far behind in our L craft. And so, well, I got really far behind in our L craft. And so, yeah. Um, what I also want to do while I'm here is make a crafting table because then we can upgrade our canteen to a dragon canteen, which will be amazing. Uh, fall my way. Fall this way. I'll just go out the way. That way the wo the wool, yeah, the wood won't fall and, like, go a different direction. I don't know. I, I need to speak better. I have a lisp. It's not great. It really isn't. Uh, right. So, we got ourselves a crafting table. We can now use the dragon skull and the dragon heart to make a dragon canteen. So, dragon canteen. We need a dragon skull, an iron canteen, and a dragon heart. So, the heart of the dragon we just killed, plus its skull, and then we can turn that into a dragon canteen. Yes! And now we will always be drinking out of the skull. Of that annoying dragon that peed us off. That's the real reason I wanted the dragon canteen. I couldn't give two craps about the durability. No. I just want to be able to say I'm drinking out of its skull. Guys. I just drank out of the dragon canteen. I didn't get thirst. I didn't get any parasites. I think... The Dragon Canteen automatically purifies stuff. That's insane. Alright guys, I found another village. All I want from this one is one thing. A chest. 
That is literally it. I'm just going to break any chest and then we're just going to give it to Jeff. Jeff's just going to be able to carry some items for us. Um, so yeah, I tried the Dragon Canteen and take a look. No, nothing. It just, it works perfectly. You don't even require filters to use it. It's not even purified. You can drink water safely. I don't know how much it gives, but it's insane. Uh, this is perfect. Empty chest, I'll take it. We're going to give that to Jeff. And Jeff's going to have the ability to carry items for us. There uh, we go. And now we can carry the books, uh, the crafting table, feathers, the sticks. Stuff we just don't want to carry on us and don't need. Uh, I guess he can carry those and the soul gazer. The soul gazer because we're only going to use that if we want to study stuff. Okay, 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 wood. I'll remember this village. I'm in the truth. Time to see how good the dragon canteen is. Holy crud, that's insane. It's just like a regular canteen, and it doesn't require any filters. That's insane, guys. I'm shocked by that. The dragon canteen is so good, and you can drink eight times. Yes, we found every unholy uh, biome in the game every defiled lands biome <laughs> i didn't even know we'd traveled that far but i guess we have crazy wow we got levels for that damn uh we can get 16 defense now holy crud that is huge you get levels for that achievement Guess we can wear diamond armor now. That's amazing. All right, guys, we finally found one. A battle tower golem. Fingers crossed we can take it out this time. We've only got like 64 arrows, but that should be enough. Um, game. Yeah, there we go. It's that first fireball that's scary because it almost hits you. Our, my aim here is to not miss a single shot. Just as a personal light thing. I just used all my arrows. Guys, that was 64 arrows. Alright, we got 45 iron blocks. That is absolutely phenomenal. I can't believe that. These villages are just insane for iron. Trying to get as many feathers as possible, and then we're going to go back out, even though we have enough arrows. I just want to have a constant supply of arrows. And means us we've got pretty much unlimited iron now, pretty much unlimited sticks now. The only thing we want to load the resources of are the feathers, and these guys just drop them. Also, for those of you that didn't know, that really are looking for arrows immediately... Um, there is a special thing you can do, which I 100% do not recommend doing. In RLCraft 2.9, you can shear chickens. And if I was to just try it by going... Look at that. Oh, it's 25% each time. So you can do that quite a few times. And your chickens will be pretty low on health. But obviously don't do it too much because you'll kill them. And then you can get a load of feathers early on, and that'll get me a buttload of arrows. It is quite cold now. Um, I'll, I'm burning up when I wear my woolen armor next to this heating coil. But if I take it off, I'm at just the right temperature. And with the benefit of this is basically when it becomes midwinter to late winter, we can wear this while using the heating coil. And it doesn't affect the animals, so they're all just ready to breed and stuff. We've got quite a lot of chickens now, and we're getting so many feathers, it's unbelievable. You escaping, are you? Yeah, we got like 10 eggs already, 4 feathers, so this is working really well. Alright guys, we got really lucky here. Every now and again in our Alcraft, uh, a chicken has a chance, a very rare chance, to make a rotten egg. And that, if you throw it on the floor, if you get really lucky, it could spawn what's known as a cockatrice. We got one! That's insane! Oh, that's so rare as well! That is so adorable! 
And when they grow up, they will, um, if any enemy looks them in the eye, they'll get the wither effect and they'll protect chickens. Because chickens created them, they have an instinctive protection towards chickens. So if anything attacks our chickens, the cockatrice is going to absolutely rip it to shreds. So now we've just got ourselves a little bodyguard. Not to mention he's so adorable. I love him so much. Every time I get a cockatrice, I always call it Pablo. We got little Pablo. He's, he's so adorable. I love him so much. All right. So uh, we've been away from Jeff for a very long time. Um, to be honest, I kind of forgot about him. I'm pretty sure he's in home village. So it's only going to take us one experience to get there. If he's still around, why am I lagging so much? Here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and take on some battle tower golems, finally. It's been a couple of hours, you know. I've been doing that chicken breeding thing for a while, but it had to be done. And now we've got a load of arrows. We'll be fine. All right, guys. So I actually got a comment on one of my videos uh, saying, how come I never did the glass for the griffin enclosure? Um, I only got that, con that comment just... Specifically because I do a video, I edit it, and I upload it for 12 o'clock UK time the next day. So by the time I've seen your comment, the next video is already on its way. So obviously uh, comments are going to be two videos in, in advance. And so it's kind of be weird. It's going to be weird to communicate through. But I've, I appreciate all the help. I really do. But yeah, any comment you say will affect not the next video, but the video after. So, if that makes sense. Uh, that was really close. Yeah. Got him! God! That was uh, an ordeal right there, wasn't it? Man! He's already destroyed the chest. I just wanted to take him out, so we weren't a hassle. Let's go over this tiny savannah biome. Just so we heat up just a little bit. While we're waiting for that to explode. Alright, what have we got? We got a miner's ring! Yeah, let's sleep for the night, guys. Uh, don't need it. Ah, oh, come on. I wanted to throw the whole stack out. There we go. Right, where's my sleeping bag? Again? Really? I forgot my sleeping... Good job I got night vision. But this place is going to get a hell of a lot more dangerous at night. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that XP tome. So happy. Alright, we do have a backpack again. Which is great. I'll probably end up using... Okay, um... I had a feeling that would happen, guys. I had a feeling that would happen. I mean, it's no big deal, right? Because there's no enemies around. We can get our stuff back easily. It's just irritating. And there is a sleeping bag right there. That is amazing. All right. Where's the other experience? Time? Okay. We got a book. Advanced flame. Advanced flame. Oh my God. Hell yes. All right. Uh, we got diamond. We got the stuff we wanted from down here. I say we just go up. And get my dragon eye back. I ain't losing that. Oh, God, this is not nice. Oh, thank you, Dragon Eye. Thank you. God, that was not and that was not nice, was it? Uh, where's the rest of my stuff, like my bow and everything? Jeff, can I just push you off the edge? I apologize in advance for this, mate. Uh, you know what, Joe? I'll just fly you off the edge. I want my bow and stuff. I don't know if it's on the ground. And that scary to me. I don't see my bow anywhere because of Jeff. He's an asshole. Uh, okay, I see my atlas. I'll wait for the game to stop freezing. Atlas. And enchant it while it's there. Put mending on it. Get the bow. Power 4 on it. We got our bow back not the end of the world it's just really really irritating because we did good you know we did good we were doing great and we, we always seem to kind of ah oh, guys i just realized 
I think I might have lost my dragon flask. I think we're surviving. Slowly. Right? Just gotta progress. That's our problem. We keep dying because... Because of some really unlucky stuff. But, to be honest, this one was on me. I went out during winter, when I should have stayed at home. It's a life lesson that I've learned. If it's winter in our Alcraft, stay home. I mean, it's got a lot of health lost, but then again, so have we. All this for a battle tower golem, guys. I think it's getting too cold now that we can't do anything. I think it really is winter. Guys, I know what the problem was. Look, winter has actually fully arrived. So, it turns out we can't do anything until spring. Winter is just... We don't have an Aussie liner, so I've made a uh, heating coil last time. And that got us through the last winter, so I guess we have to wait out the winter. And I'll meet you guys in the spring. Um. No wonder we were getting so badly damaged. As much iron as possible. And try and reforge it. Wow. Guys, I think this might be the episode. I really want to go out and do more stuff. And if winter stops, I will. But I think right now, we're in the middle of winter. And so I'm going to try and get some good treasure items and maybe get a saddle. Or a rock by fishing up mountain troll leather. I mean, that's the only thing I can do. Come on, got some an extra. Oh my god, Neptune's bounty. That's amazing. We just got Neptune's bounty. That was so good. What do we get? A Neptunian hoe? It's the only thing we can do in winter, though. Otherwise, we'll just freeze. Without an Aussie liner, we're kind of screwed. Uh, some an extra. We got another Neptune's bounty. What? That's crazy! A Neptunium Shovel! Oh cool! A Neptunium Shovel, huh? Oh wow, that's so good! Oh wow, that is amazing! You know what, I'll, we'll, at the end of the day, we're gonna have all the Neptunian tools we could possibly want, right? Yeah, we're getting a ton of feathers in the meantime, which is insane. Can we get a Pablo? <gasps> Yes, welcome back, Pablo. Oh, uh, welcome back, buddy. Oh my god, Pablo the second. So adorable. I don't want him to die this time, guys. We're, we're definitely going to keep him safe. First dragon found us. Which is ideal, because we wanted to kill dragons for the levels. Ow! Uh... That was fast. Maybe we already destroyed it, kind of, by, like, a lot. And my my bow is healed. Oh, but my bow was so damaged, though. I bet we've got no experience left. Ah. Oh, well, at least we've got a dragon canteen again. I have a dragon eye this time. If the game freezes, I'll survive. Jeff, on the other hand, may get injured quite a bit. I kind of like this, uh, as long as my arrows are actually hitting, right? Careful, Jeff. Ah. This is why it kept circling this specific position. It was in the middle of making a home for itself. That must be its den. Ah, uh, can I have my bow back? There we go. Alright, 14 experience. We got attack level 14. That used pretty much all of our experience. But you know what? It's worth it. Yeah, we have enough arrows. Why the hell not? Yeah, plus it's already decided it wants to fight with us. We can't back out of a fight, right? Oh, perfect shot. Come on, we got this. Yep. No, I don't want to upgrade Bit Defender Antivirus. My god, how am I supposed to fight a dragon with this on my screen? Guys, my antivirus just popped up. This is not great. 
I already have the premium version. Can't they just disable the ads if you already have the premium version? You'd think, you know, upgrading would remove the ads, but it doesn't. Oh no, you're not going to throw a block at me. I saw you charge up that attack. God, cancels a bit defender ad. Um, <laughs> that was not great. I, I couldn't see half my screen. I still won, but I couldn't see half my screen. That moment when you're fighting a dragon and antivirus software pops up. Yeah, not great. Oh my god, we got so many levels. This really is the best way to level us up right now. Look at that, we're back to 13 levels. One more and we can get attack level uh, 14, which will be amazing. No, we need two more, right? Just love the look of that. It's like its eyes are closed and it's dead. I don't know. I've never actually stood and just looked at the model and the details before. I mean, we took this thing down, you know? I remember a time in our Elcraft where I saw a dragon and I thought, Oh my god, it's so hard to take down, how am I going to do it? And I loved how hard it was, but once you've got a certain amount of knowledge, that spark of hardness of our Elcraft that really makes the game come alive kind of goes away. And then it comes back again when you destroy your first dragon. But then you get to the stage where you're killing a load more of them, and then it just kind of goes away again. And it, I don't know, it's kind of... It's kind of sad, but really happy at the same time, you know? It's kind of like two mix of emotions. <laughs> we have three dragon skulls. We took down three dragons. I think we got this. We just need to take it slow, unlike the other times. Just need to aim carefully, and then we'll win. If we aim carefully, we'll win. A blight gin. I don't know, man. A blight gin. Why? Ugh. Every time it just goes in the tower. As long as I'm good at dodging, I can stop every now and again. I think this really is the best method, just be careful, aim straight, don't worry about dodging all the time, just make sure you're not, you know, in its range of fire like an idiot, and I think you'll be fine, I think that's the reason we've been losing, we just, I think I'm just so scared of losing that I end up not dodging right, you know, and I just press D and just constantly go left all the time. Sorry, I, I press A and constantly go left all the time. You just hold A and then you don't get hit, but also you don't get anything, you know? We gotta be careful and strategically like that. If we could have just done that from the beginning, I reckon in this episode we could have got so much done. But I was an idiot. Oh my god, winter's over. Winter's finally over, isn't it? I'm not freezing anymore. What's happening to this ice? Show me the ice. Show me the ice. Please melt. Please, I beg you, please melt. <gasps> Did you see that? A piece of ice went away. It's over. <laughs> it's finally over. I can't believe it took the whole goddamn... Day. I didn't know it was finished exploding. I thought the tower was, you know, past its exploded state. So, I'm just going to go ahead and drop everything I 
don't want. I don't want that. Okay, the diamonds maybe for more diamond arrows. I don't know. We're kind of low on diamonds. Don't want that. Don't want that. Gunpowder I'll always keep. Don't want that. Uh, blaze powder definitely. I think I have cat, but I want to keep it just in case I don't because I really want that. I really want all the music discs. Did we just get blaze rods? That is amazing. I really wanted blaze rods. Uh, I don't want that, don't want that, don't Good want to that. to go. I mean, this right here, insane. Watch. And that's permanent. That extra heart is permanent. Yeah, we lost our tool belt, but we didn't even use it. We didn't store anything in it. Um, and the only reason we lost that fight was because it was behind cover. We got a ton of flares and a flare gun that's <laughs> not usable. How much stuff did Shavaxi disable? Seriously. I'm kind of happy I didn't lose. Oh no, we got the play. Yeah, we got everything. Holy crud, we got everything. We we threw everything else away. We wanted the ender pearls, the gunpowder, the blaze. We actually picked everything back up. We got a load of rotten flesh as well, which is great because that's one of the ingredients for, you know, um, stuff. Because words. Uh, drop. Drop. What's that? That is a flag. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Chivaxi disabled that. Um, we got a tool belt. Which sucks, because you guys just literally saw me throw away a tool pouch. Magic shielding. I'll take it. We got a tool belt back. Um, gunpowder will keep, of course. Um, go ahead and just go down. Uh, definitely don't need that. Everything else here is kind of cool. Um, I just don't want any of this stuff, to be honest. Yeah, I don't need it, and I don't want it. I think we're good, you know. Wait. Wait. That's bottles of enchanting that can get us, uh, level 15 attack. That'll get us one step closer to being able to... Uh, attack using diamond tier stuff. So let's go ahead and get level 15 in attack. And now once we get level 16 in attack, we can also get that, which will... Killing Monster will give you a small strength debuff. And so every time we attack an enemy, we get a strength debuff. And we can use diamond at the exact same time. Which will be absolutely phenomenal. So I'm so happy with that. Alright guys, so we are back at the base now. In the next episode, I want to, I kind of want to take down a tier 5 dragon, because I want to breed dragons, you know. It's late winter now, and all the ice is beginning to melt. I just checked the uh, season clock, so it is late winter. I've been mining quite a lot of ice, I don't know if you can see it over there. We got a stack of ice chunks, ready for when it becomes summer. The sun's just going down, and I think, hey, it's a perfect time to end the episode. We've got a dragon canteen now, which is insane. We've got all this amazing loot. We can definitely make an Aussie liner. Do you remember a couple of episodes ago, we found those, those frost rods? Well, we can use those to make an Aussie liner. Yeah, that's what we want. We want the healing goo, and we also want the cooling goo. And I think we can make the same amount. If we're lucky, yeah, we can make the same amount. So we got 14 healing goo and 14 cooling goo. And we only needed 8 of each to make the chest plate one. Or 7 to make the uh, the leggings one. So I think we're just going to make 7. That way we can make 2 Aussie liners. So that would be really useful. So what I want to do now is make the first set of cooling material. So if we can do that, we've now got seven calling material. And if we do that like that, we can get a leggings calling liner. And now all we need is to make the uh, heating liner. And then once we've done that, we'll have an Aussie liner. All right, guys, I just had to find wool. I had no idea where any was. So, yeah, we can actually go ahead and redo this. So we can now get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... And now we can do the same thing and add the warming liner in. And that gets a leggings warming liner. Combine that with a cooling liner and that makes you an Aussie liner. And that is what will help us get through the next episode.
So I'm going to add that onto diamond because diamond gear would be amazing and that will allow us to wear full on diamond armor and survive any temperature. What I definitely want to do, which I don't recommend other people do because this is kind of stupid and you should only really do this if you know what you're doing because it's not going to be great. It's just going to be extra warmth. But it's also going to cool you down if you're near lava. So you can either add cooling goo around it and it'll be extra cooling or extra heating. But because winter happens quite a lot and this will cool us down anyway a bit, we can add extra heating for when winter does come. Because summer's a lot easier to deal with than winter in my opinion. And I definitely think that that's going to come in real handy. So we definitely want to do that. Go ahead and reforge it. I think Masterful's the best. Crafting table with the Aussie liner and get ourselves an Aussie liner that has the ability of diamond, which is absolutely incredible because now we don't have to wear this goddamn awful woolen armor and we can still get the full cooling effects. So now we've got full on diamond armor and we're surviving in winter and when it gets summer, we'll also be cool. So, hell yes. I'll see you guys in the next episode on Real Sentinel. Peace out.